YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's your boy the Chop Doc, and we are back once again. This time for me to check in about what's been going on during this second semester of medical school. God help us all, because y'all look. It's getting crazy. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. We're going to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, the adjustment, the the everything. But what I can say is I'm finally getting to a point where I feel like somewhat, dare I say, comfortable? Ew, I gotta, I say, I say comfortable, I say comfortable. I feel comfortable like with the routine and the expectations, just a matter of like pumping out the work and doing what's necessary. But it wasn't always like this. Let me be clear, perfectly clear. It wasn't always like this. So we are gonna walk through what transitions, what adjustments I had to make in order to get there. Let's get it. So coming into this semester, uh, if you watched the last video, which you should, if you watched the last video, you saw my like anatomy experience and, and, and what that was like and the adjustment and all that. I don't know what the, the Lewis Katz School of Medicine has about like making the first block the most like big and scary thing ever before you transition into a new series. But anatomy like destroyed me. But everything else after that, I was like, straight. Now here we go, this semester we transitioning into like systems. So it's no more fundamentals, no more like talking about doing stuff. We actually like applying and, and making it happen. We actually just finished cardiology, but before that we had a nine week, I don't think y'all, nine weeks of neuro. Let me see, cause y'all don't, y'all don't, you feel me, but you don't feel me. Nine weeks of neuro. Now I'm gonna tell you something about neuro. Neuro is so dense and I kind of got a love hate relationship with neuro because of this. Like I see why they put it first as the first systems block that we did, but it's also like, disgusting because the brain does everything everything and how much of that do you have to know everything do you get a break no how much you got to know all what percent 100 they don't care <laughs> know it <laughs> know it all so they take the brain and you got to know like histological sections, different tracks, where it's going, what it control, all this type of stuff. Um, gross anatomy, we did brain labs, we actually had to learn the regions of the brain and all this stuff. And then the thing about the brain is it's, just, it's so like dynamic, like you'll learn everything there is to know about this layer. Then you move down this much, scratch it. Sorry, start over. You gotta learn it all over from, from, from jump again. It's like, come on, bro, but that's what neuro is. Neuro is just like learning and once you get the ins and outs and you understand like how stuff works, then you can more so worry about applying. So neuro, neuro, neuro wasn't sweet, I'm not gonna care. I think, I think another thing I have against neuro is just the fact that everything in neuro seems to present the same way. Like all y'all coming in with left-sided weakness, like ain't, ain't, can't none of y'all feel nothing? It ain't never the right side? Like, I don't know what to tell you because the last 26 people also had this. Maybe it's another pandemic. I don't, I don't know. But transitioning out of that, finally in cardiology doing something that's a little bit more like hands-on and a little bit more conceptual by nature. That was like the biggest hurdle biggest weight that could have got lifted off my shoulders. I was like, bruh, finally something where I just don't have to memorize like facts, just like isolated stuff. With cardiology, everything happened for a reason. This happened and it leads to boom, 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 boom. I can do that. I can do that. And what I'm realizing is that you really just gotta wait on your block. Ooh, that's gonna help somebody, wait a minute. Wait a minute, that was a word. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Okay, I'm Wait on your block, whether you in school or not. Ooh, Jesus, I'm about to get the organ. I'm about to get the organ going. Wait on your block. Wait on your season. Because Neuro and a lot of other blocks before it, like this like straight memorization, just knowing stuff, that's not how I learn, bro. Like, so I kind of just had to like, make it happen, make it work, gotta keep up. Still perform well, but just like, it was painful to learn because it was just like, it, 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 it just don't compute, it don't, it, I don't know what's going on up here, but it just don't work. Getting to blocks where I can finally like, see how the gears turn behind stuff and see how stuff work, wow. Like, I finally get what it's like to know what's going on. <gasps> Me? <laughs> Knowing the content? Bruh, it was like, it's a revolution. I performed like well on the first exam. Uh, I did really well on the final. Like, I've never gotten to a block where I like, almost enjoyed myself. Uh. So now, starting tomorrow, we transitioning into Pulmonology, we got cardio, then we got palm, then we got summer, then we come back and we have renal in the fall. So all three of those pretty much go together, but kind of like the big things that, uh, just the biggest takeaway just from this kind of um, time so far, has just been like, take it easy. Take it easy. Everything not gonna be your block. Stop stressing. Stop stressing. Um, some stuff can be more enjoyable than others, but that's why you end up learning community. Like, you're not gonna get it as well as the next person. I be in some of the like little group work, group discussions, explaining little cardiologist stuff to folk. I be like, wait, I halfway know what's going on. I ain't, I ain't never typed this much in, in, in the Zoom. I'm like, look, maybe you should think about it like this. Maybe you should think about it like, well, it helps me to think about it like this. Do, 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 do. I ain't never been able to do that. Now I'm, now I'm able, I'm finally in a position where I can contribute to the discussion. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, moving forward, stuff should be a little bit more uh, smooth. I kind of figured out like my study method, study routine, moving into systems and being like completely like white clean of everything you was doing for fundamentals because you want to make sure you're ready for step. You got all these materials, all these resources you can be using. And you don't know how much or when and why to use each one. I'm gonna make a separate video on like my study method, but know that it was definitely some trial and fail during neuro because it's the uh, the density of the content, the complexity of the content, and also like not even knowing how to study for systems anyway, and that being the first one. But I finally got to a point where like I'm straight, and I uh, I know how much to use each resource, how much to use the internal and external and balance them to to perform well on the exam. So I'll share that with y'all later. Um, yeah, it's just a quick little update. Instagram, email, all that. Just let me know how I can help. I'm gonna go out of my way to make sure you got what you need. I know there was a rather um, lengthy gap between kind of my first medical school reflection video and this one. It was only the entire school year, but what's gonna happen during the summer when my time free up, I have more time, get a couple more videos going. I actually got a lot of stories I gotta tell y'all. It be some wild stuff happening, bro. I got like five story times I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop them this summer. Uh, record them real quick. So the content on the way just rock with your boy. Let me get through this last block I'm gonna tell you about everything. So Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for your support everything so far Like I said more videos more content coming soon. Just lock in and I got you. I'll see y'all next time